If you look at enterprises across the globe, the biggest challenge for a new company, and I happen to own one myself, is to build that right team. Because building the right team, as you would agree, it's not about having the right resources as much as building the right team, which is going to see you through. Absolutely. I think uh, for any new organization, building the right team is the path to success because everything is a function of the people who are there in the organization, right? People create processes, people create products, uh, people create profitability, right? And hence, having the right people in the organization is one of the biggest challenge, um, you know, that we face day in and day out when we are interviewing, when we're having a discussion, be it a person who's joining uh, as a fresher, or be it the person who's joining at a leadership team. A lot of time it's a gamble, it's a, it's a more of a, um, you know, a good decision that is making them meet a lot of people, and uh, it works out, but the kind of impact that a wrong hire can have in an organization is disastrous. Absolutely, the Beatles said you can't buy love, Today, the theory is you can't buy people. Uh, looking at bottom line, perhaps, uh, is also a good strategy, simply, and it would have worked very well if you were doing that during COVID, you know, because that's the way that you can actually conserve a lot of your business. Did you have that experience? Were you able to put that into practice? But bottom line, ultimately, or making profit, is the objective of all businesses. In fact, yes, uh, uh, for any company, hence, Profitability is important, even for us, that has always been there, even during the COVID period. Yes, how do you ensure with so much of uncertainties, you know, when suddenly COVID happened and, you know, everything shut down. So, where you didn't have any clue what's going to happen after one month. So, yes, how do you ensure that uh, many things didn't get disturbed, you know, first of all, your employees, uh, second, yes, the overall performance of the company, etc. But yes, as a company, I think uh, we could manage it well. Uh, one different factor between, or perhaps uh, between both of you in terms of uh, a target is one needs to get wealthy, the other needs to stay wealthy. So I want to round of the house to understand or help me understand which do you think is more difficult to get wealthy or to stay wealthy? How many of you feel that getting wealthy is more difficult than staying wealthy? Could you just raise your hand? All right, just a few people. How many of you feel staying wealthy is more difficult than, than getting wealthy? Well, it seems to be a 50-50. What about you, sir? I think nothing comes easy, is right. what I would say. Uh, getting wealthy and staying wealthy or becoming wealthier, you know, see, even wealthy people always want to become wealthier. So yes, both has its own challenges. There is no stopping, and, and I don't mean wealthy only from a material perspective, right? Uh, but when you talk about wealthy, and you know, it's a it's a continuous journey, right? If you are if you are innovating, you're always getting wealthy. You will never stay wealthy. You'll only keep getting more and more wealthy, right? So I think uh, that would be my answer, saying that you are always in the journey to getting wealthy. You're never in the destination of saying I've become wealthy. ABP News आपको रखे आगे